squirmies. I thought I'd talk today about um, squirmies, their effectiveness. I don't really need to talk about their effectiveness because we all know just how good they are. I mean, when it comes to catching fish, these things are unbelievably good. Um, but what I wanted to talk about is um, the fragility. These things are, are very, very fragile. And I'm a big fan of the squirmy. I'll show you. So if I just grab my chest pack here, grab the squirmy box. So as you can see, I'm a big fan. I love this stuff. Um, reds, yellows, purples, light pinks, dark purples, everything. But I just thought I'd give you an example of what I mean by fragility. So if I take, this is this is basically my normal squirmy, my favourite one. So I've got uh, squirmy coming out the front, squirmy coming out the back. That's probably my most effective one. The problem with squirmies is, and if I just grab one here as an example, Trout, trout especially, probably more than anything else really. But when you're fishing and you get a trout, so I've got here a squirmy, and it's just a bead and a hook, and I've got the tail there. The problem with this is it's very fragile, and these come off. Um, they can get snipped off here, but the usual is they get pulled right away from the body. So a fish takes, bites its teeth, pulls a little bit, and you're left with a bead and a hook. And a squirmy tail, which is no good to nobody. So, how do we overcome it? Um, I've seen a few things out there uh, that involve bands um, to hold the squirmy on. You've also got things like um, a little bump of resin to thread it over. However, I don't think any of that's quite quick and a bit too fiddly. So, what I want is I want to be able to, if I lose a bit of my squirmy, I want to be able to replace it. And I want to square me so I've got a bit out the front and a bit out the back. So I've been looking at various ways in which to do it. And I think I've come up with something that really works. So there's my square me. I've got a bead and a hook. And I've got my square me material there. I've got a bit out the front, a bit out the back. It doesn't wrap. It stays where it is. And I've got an ingenious little loop in there that he, he thread the square me through. Uh, which I'll show you in a second, but what it does is it gives you the opportunity So when you lose a bit of your squirmy, whether it be the front or the end You can basically replace it as long as you've got squirmy material on you I would suggest you take different colors, but it's just an easy way of changing everything So you can make this squirmy from like I mentioned before when you lose a squirmy You're basically left with a bead and a body Pretty much no good to nobody when you're fishing squirmy. So to replace it. I've got this little loop in a hook which you can have pre-tied and you can change your squirming material change colour, change it when it gets bitten off it's just a great quick fix, it gets you back fishing straight away so I'll just show you how to do it so here's the the actual squirmy so you can see it it's just a, a little jig hook this is a, a size 16 or 14 and a 3 mil bead on there and it's important to get a, a slotted bead so a jig hook bead and the reason for that is because I'm going to butt up um, where the little loop lives but you can see that's pretty secure there but if I pull that tight you can see it's just through a tiny little loop and you can see that and it'll move fine I've got it under tension but as soon as I let that go it's solid, it's not moving. I can pull that and it's not going to move. It's just the, the perfect way of doing the squirming. All I've got is a, a, a little bit of fluorocarbon, and all I do is, is you just bet running a bit of tying thread, it's no rocket science, and then obviously just create a little loop, tie the loop in. I'll just show you this here. So the loops like that, but butted up into the groove. I'll show you in a second. Butted up into the actual groove of the bead. So if I just take this out, pull it tight, pull it out. You can see there, I've got that 
tiny, tiny little loop. Can you see it? And I've got it butted up. If I just turn this, I've got it butted up into the groove of the bead, into the groove of the, the slotted bead. And you just tie in that. Make sure the loop's small. So this is probably about the size of a the loop's about the same size as the eye on a sort of size 10 wet fly. And all I do to get my squirm me through is take a bit of nylon, make a loop. So bear in mind this is speed wise on the river. I really should have had my glasses on for this, but just feed the loop. Get my glasses on. Feed the your loop of line through that loop. Okay. And then I've got a I did have a bag. There you go. I've got a bag bag of squirmy here. And then just get your squirmy through the loop. Okay. And then pull your squirmy under tension and just pull it through that loop like so. And then just oh locks in place and there's your squirmy. One end at the front, one end at the back, no changing flies, you're no losing um your bit of your squirmy and having to start from scratch. This is you pretty good to go so hook, bead, a little bit of fluorocarbon, that tiny little loop there, which I'll show you again, just a tiny little loop in the top of that slotted bead. And you just thread that through. And that's you pretty much game on. I'll just quickly show you that again. Through the loop, I've got my glasses on now. And stick your square mate through your loop. Make it a little bit bigger, Stephen. Pull your square me under tension. There you go, square me. Nice and easy. A bit of a game changer when it comes to fish on the water. Obviously, you can use different colours of this stuff, take some weight at the river bank. But a great little cheat and one that saves you changing flies constantly. All you need to do is change the square me material.